Okay, that's okay. No problem. You don't need to know that. All right, so I think we can start our lesson. Okay, so we can go back to uh, which slide? This slide, right? Exercise seven. And I told you that uh, we're going to come oh. back at our second sessions. All right, so are you ready, everyone? Yes, sir. Okay, so number seven. Work in pairs and discuss these questions. Okay. All right. Number one, I read for you first, then I will uh, answer the question for you as well as an example. Number one, have you found out any interesting news recently? I think it's a bit noisy, everyone. A lot of people here. I am now in the office and they are spraying the alcohol, alcohol alcohols to uh, prevent the COVID-19 here. Is it noisy? Sipal? Mm, no, sir. No, 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 so it's noisy, but I feel so noisy here. If you can, if you, if you can hear me well, then we can go on. Number one and two, number eight. You have you found, okay, have you found out any interesting news recently? Number two, do you know anyone who has set up a business? Number three, do you ever look after other people, children, pets? Number four, what are you looking into at the moment? Buy a car or planning a holiday? Number five, do you usually point out other people's mistakes to them? Number six, uh, what problems have you shot out recently? Number seven, do you ever carry out research? Number eight, has anyone put you off doing something? All right. So before I am going to answer this question for you, I would like to ask Bullet, can you read all the questions again? Number one until number eight, please. Yes, sir. One. Have you found have you <laughs> have you found that any interesting news recently? Two. Do you know anyone who has set up a business? Three. Do you ever look after other people, children of part four? What are you looking into doing at the moment? Example, buying a car, planning a holiday. Five, do you usually point out other people's mistakes to them? Six, what problems have you sought out recently? Seven, do you ever carry out research? Eight, hey, has anyone put you off doing something recently? That's all, sir. Thanks. Thank you very much. So right now, uh, I'm going to answer all the questions for you as an example, and then I'm going to give you some minutes to do it by yourself and have a short presentation. OK, so now let's start with uh, number one. OK, let's do with number one. Have you found out any interesting news recently? So, uh, yes, I have. Yes, I have. I just. OK, sorry. I've just found that uh, okay my two best friends got married during uh, the COVID 19 pandemic. OK, all right, this is interesting you for me. OK, they, they cannot wait, you know, they have to get married right now. So. <laughs> I don't know. OK, just share with you. This is number one. OK, now number two. 
do you know anyone who has start up a business? So I put I write number two right here. OK, uh, yes, I do. Uh, one of. My high school friends. School. Friend. His name is Vesna. OK, all right, sorry. Vesna. Set up. Her uh, his. Own. Uh, design. Company. In Simria. All right. Wow, my answer is too big. I think I cannot answer all of them here, right? Okay, number three. Do you know, do you ever look after other children and pets? Uh, I put number three here. Okay, number three. Yes, I do. Uh, look after my niece uh since 2012 okay number four what are you looking into doing at the moment buying a car planning a holiday so number four uh, i am looking into uh planning a holiday uh, after uh, COVID-19 I'm going to visit Indonesia with my family okay number five do you usually point out other people mistake where should i write number five everyone <laughs> it's too small for me now okay i will write number five right here for a moment okay number five Number five, okay, uh, yes, I do. Yes, I do, okay. I don't care much if he or she is angry with me. If I see the mistake, I correct them. I point them out, okay? I point them out. All right, how about number six? What problems have you sought out recently? Okay, number six, okay. I will write number six right here. Uh, I have sorted out. I have sorted my internet problem out. I just install. Okay. I just uh, install Wi-Fi uh, last week. All right, and number seven. Okay, I don't know. Sudan can hear me or not? Hello, guy. Can you hear me? Oh, I'm speaking alone. Okay, okay. So, and can you read? Is it clear for you to read? Teacher. Uh... Number four, it is the true, right, teacher? Your answer. Uh, yeah, it's it, true, but uh, 
Sorry, wait a moment, wait a moment. Yeah, uh, what is it? Uh, okay, wait, you can talk to her. Yeah. Okay, um, it is true, uh, Sri Pau. I actually have planned for a long time, but I don't know whether we can go or not right up to COVID-19, and we don't know how long does it last. Uh, even there's not a big problem in our country, but now Indonesia is a big problem. Actually, I plan to visit many countries, including uh, Malaysia, Singapore, and, and other European countries as well, so that uh, it's a big deal and you have to... Teacher, excuse me, why you interest in Indonesia country? Oh, uh, there are a lot of interesting places in uh, Indonesia, you know? Like, um, I kind of forgot now. You know Sumatra, the island, Sumatra? And one of the top four uh, tourist sites in, in the world is in uh, Indonesia. Okay. All right. <laughs> I've been to Malaysia. Yes, I've teacher. Been, I've been to Malaysia and Singapore. Uh, unfortunately, I, I haven't uh, been to Indonesia. Indonesia is not a rich country, but too many people, you know, the population uh, ranked the top four in the world. So too many people. <laughs> OK, number one, I think uh, China, India, America and then Indonesia. So you see how big is it? And they have uh, Sumatra Island and they have a lot of interesting places, even the coffees. And uh, it is very popular. Anyway, there are many more things and I have to visit, but right now I kind of forget, you know, I haven't thought about that for a long time. But when I see these questions again, it, I just uh, remind me about what I planned long time ago. Okay, if you can read my answer here, I want to go to number seven and eight to finish it, all right? So number seven, do you ever carry out research? Okay, so I put number seven up here. Can you see? Uh, yes, I, I do. I've done a lot of research since 2015, I think, yeah. Uh, especially on uh, philosophy, on education, on psychology and other things. Okay, number eight, has anyone put you off doing something recently? Okay, where should I write answer number eight? So I will put it in different color, All right? Okay, so would be, uh, I think I will put in green. So number eight, I will put number eight here. So spy for me. I say, yes. Uh, my, uh, mother, my mama, mother does, All right? She, Okay, I wanted to, uh, sorry, I wanted to, what did I want to do for her? Okay, I wanted her to put me off. Actually, put me off means stop me doing something, but uh, actually I want her to, I want her to stay with, my sister, but she put me off. So put me out mean actually I want her, but she reject my what I wish her to do. So she kind of put me off. So well, that's okay. All right. So these are my example for you. I'm going to send this to your group as well. And I'm going to give you some minutes to do it. And after that, uh, I'm going to ask two or three students to ask, uh, I mean, to answer this question and do not answer yes or no because I'm not if you answer yes or no I'm not going to give you any mark for that and if you answer like what I do here then you can give some uh, you can get some mark all right everyone hello okay so yeah, yes, uh, okay so right now uh, I would change this one to the uh, blue one and uh, I'm going to give you around 15 minutes here uh, to answer all the questions here by yourself. And uh, we will check the answer together at at a nine, no, at 10, actually, 10, zero, zero. 
And one more thing is that I want you to, if you write uh, on a piece of paper, I want you to write your answer and then you take photo and upload right here. Okay? Remember how to upload or not? So here it's just like a Facebook Messenger. Hi, and you have sticker here. Okay, example, just give you example. You have a, a GIF file here. Right, example, just give you example. And if you want to attach photos, okay, from your mobile phone or computer, after you finish, you take a photo and whatever you put there, give you one example. Okay, yeah, this one, <laughs> right, just give you example so you can attach your photo and also can see on this one as well. All right, so how can you share this one? Uh, where is my Okay, so I can send my photo right here. So you can see, you can send, you just do whatever you can do with the uh, Microsoft Sim, the same like uh, Facebook Messenger. And if you want to see that, if you go to the top of your mobile phone screen or your computer, you see this symbol, click on that one, you see? Uh, you click on this one, close and click on. And this one, uh, pass, uh, who participate in the class? Right now, there are 20 students. So I can see all the name here. All right, uh, okay, so can you do it right now? Write the answer in your notebook, and after that, take a photos and send it up here. Okay, just send it up here. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, you have uh, 15 minutes. Right now, I take two minutes your time, so I'm gonna give it back. So you, we're gonna check it at turn zero two. Okay, please do it right now. If you have question, you can ask. If you're done, do it quietly. Write the answer in your notebook. Teacher, excuse me. If uh, if number one, I I haven't found any interesting you can news. No. Can uh, yes, you can say no? Yeah. No, I haven't. There's nothing interesting at all. Every day is just about COVID nineteen. I can say something like that. <laughs> all right, please do it. Teacher, that, that's right. <laughs> okay, okay. Thank you.
Meta, why you are so late? I think Meta have a lot of absent and bad. Yeah. Hello. I don't know. First session also late. Second session also late. Thank you. Join the class early next week. This week is too late already. Okay. I don't want to tell you again and again. Try your best to join the class early. Okay, Meta. Yes. And now your friends doing the exercise, and this is like I will call you for Mac as well. But uh, I don't know. I will call you later on, everyone. Now I'm checking the calendar. And see, Lip joined the first session and the second session absent. And see, Lip, your friends, uh, Sergi, uh, she has a lot of absence. Please tell her. And Sata as well, uh, come and absent. I don't know. Marida today also absent. Some mandate for sessions join and second session absent. Yeah, absent the same student all the time. Okay. Teacher. Yes. Um, the student name. Um... Some bad Sata see a permission for the canton because it's raining. Uh, how do you know it? Oh, she just tell me. Okay, so and also me because I always keep telling you that if anyone would like to ask permission, they have to ask by themselves. You can send a message on a Telegram or anything else. All right. Yeah, the chat and also Hunan. <laughs> They tell me to ask permission also. Tell, tell them, tell them that you have to ask by yourself. Mm, yeah, yeah. And one more student. <laughs> uh, Harry Lin. Kim Harry Lin, teacher. Oh, Harry Lin already changed to the 3001. Yeah. Why the permission? Yes, oh, she changed to weekend. Yes, she already changed. She, she told me already. Yeah, that's all. He is a good student. Eh? Whatever he always keep inform the teacher. Very good. All right, and um, okay. So all right. I keep attending every times in uh, every sections. You know, that's why I know who are led, who are not led, who are who have a lot of absences. And I really appreciate your participations. If you don't yeah. join, yes. Uh, and I need to send the answer to the chat teacher. Okay, you can send the answer to the chat here. I think some of you already sent here, like Isa, you sent already. And uh, that's okay. If uh, other students do not send, no problem. I just uh, request you to send. If you don't, I don't know. <laughs> All right. OK, but the um, uh, important job is that um, I want I'm going to ask some student to uh, to, you know, read the questions and answer with their own answers and then I'm going to give them some mark. OK, I want to start with. Um, Borat. OK, Borat. Uh, question number one, number two, number three and number four. Only four questions for you read and then give the answer. Uh, have you found out any interesting news recently? So I have one. Number two, do you know anyone who has 
start up a business. Yes, I do. My sister set up her own clothing shop. Number three, do you ever look after all the people's children or pets? No, I don't. No, I don't. Number four, what are you looking into doing at the moment? I am looking into planning a holiday after COVID-19. I am going to the room with my friends. Okay, thank you, Borat. Uh, remember, you have on, uh, only two of your questions get the mark. The other two, you don't get it. Because I already told you that you cannot answer with just only short form. Yes, I have. No, I have one. No, you have to add more information. All right. So then the next one I would like to call. Um, OK, Isa, number five until number eight. Yes, please. Uh -huh. Your microphone uh, is, yeah. Yes. Teacher, do you hear me? Yeah, now I can hear you, please. Uh, yes, I am. Before, be afraid of others' feeling, but now I, I, build, I still point them out. Then, and number six, uh, what problems have you? To sort uh, I have sort out my phone problems recently. Number seven, do you ever carry out research? Yes, I do. I have carried out many research related to my subject for learning. Number uh, has anyone put you off doing something recently? No, there isn't anyone put me off doing something recently. Okay, thank you very much, Asa. All right, uh, then I would like to call uh, Romani again, number one until number four. Hello, Romani. Mm. Okay, so I would like to call uh, Srinath, Med Srinath, number one until number four, please. Oh my gosh, what happened? <laughs> okay, so Manin, number one until number four, please. Uh, yes, teacher. Um, one. No, I haven't. I haven't found any. Please, please read the before questions on. before you answer, okay? Yes. Let's start it again, sir. Um, one, have you found out any interesting new recently? Um, uh, answer, no, I haven't. I haven't found any interesting because of COVID-19. Um, two, do you have any, do you know anyone who has set up a business? Um, answer, no, I, no, I don't. All my, all my friends that I know are still study. Um, three, do you ever look after other people's children or pets? Answer, yes, I do. I have looked after my, my nephew um, for now day. Um, four, what are you looking into, into doing at the moment? Um, I'm, look, I'm looking into planning to prepare, prepare my room. All right, uh, thank you very much, uh, Manin. Okay, the last five, six, seven, and eight. Uh, this one would be for um, uh, so one day. Oh, yes, so, okay, number five, six, seven, and eight. Uh, one day I have, 
I have just found my new assignment that teacher sent to me. So one, so one, please. Yeah, I can hear you. I want you to read the question first. You know. Yes, I can hear you. How about you? Hello. Hello, teacher. Yes, I do. How about you? Can you hear me? Yes, teacher, I hear. You can hear me. So please read the questions before you answer. All right. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, one have you found uh, out any interesting new recently? Yeah, I have. I have just found my new assignment that teacher sent to me. Do, do you know uh, anyone who has set up a business? Yeah, I do. My friend set up her restaurant in Battambong. Three, do you ever look at her other people, children, or pets? Yeah, I do. I have looked at her cat and dog. Uh, for what are you looking into doing at the moment? Uh, for I am looking uh, into planning visited Skype with my friend at holiday. Why do you usually point out all the people mistake to them? Yeah, I do. I, uh, I always point out other people when they have mistake. Say what problem have you uh, sorted out recently? I have prepared my phone. Uh, now I just do it all day. So when do you ever carry our research? Yeah, I do. I have done a lot, a lot of with homework and assignment. Okay. Thank eight. you very much. All right. Oh, sorry. Okay. No, eight, number eight. Still have eight. one. Uh, hi, anyone pop you off doing something recently? Yeah, my friend does. I wanted uh, my friend study with me, but she still go to study at Phnom Penh. Oh, okay, you want your friend to study with you. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Wani. All right, so I'm asking only these uh, num few students, so we're gonna we can continue to the next one. All right because we still have a lot of things to do. Okay, now let's go to the next one we finished already. Okay, now we go to this exercise and this exercise, I'm going to give it as your uh, homework as well. Uh, you, This one, you don't need to uh, work in a group, all right? I'm going to give you an example as well. And you are going to present your idea, new company or to a group of investor, prepare five minute presentation think the following things so the name of the company so right now suppose that you want to open for a business you want to to set up a business what is the name of the company um i just want to know from uh, just want to get example from sripal sripal if you set up a company what is the name of your company mm, so i don't know okay don't know so i just give you okay for example you um just say uh example you can say like cam right okay uh cam fashion right for example uh sorry so the company called cam fashion all right cam here refer to cambodia fashion co ltd okay just say cam fashions and what is the business model? So the business model here, if you learn business, you're going to learn a, a lot about business model. But uh, for our exercise here, they just want to know what product or service are you selling? OK, but you can see selling here. So uh, for, for number two here, my answer would be just a uh, close. OK, close both. Uh, mail. As this really no S, both male and female. Okay, so we sell only clothes, both male and female. Maybe we, we also sell some perfume. You know perfume, 
right? We sell some perfumes and we sell some accessory, right? Other thing, but the main thing, clothes and perfume. Okay, and what location will you choose for your business? So this one I will choose. Um, what is it? Okay, I will choose a location that I want. I want to get a store in front house in Batambong. You can do it in Phnom Penh, right? In front house, not market. Right, because that a lot of people go there and buy clothes in front house, not market. So that would be my location. And who are my poten potential customer? My potential customer, so people who buy my products. So I think my potential customer would be, um, okay, this one. So my potential customer, I would write, sorry, uh, for those who, okay, my potential customer would be a university student because university students, they like fashion a lot. They're gonna buy clothes and everything, right? And perfumes, university students, and uh, uh, maybe uh, people, right? General people, but the age from 17, okay. Um, I mean, so okay, people, I put in bracket age from 17, to certify, okay? So male and female, but my potential one would be university student. How much startup money do you need? Okay, so how much startup money do you need? So I open a, a, a store in front of snack market. So I think maybe I need to have around uh, four, uh, 400, $400,000 dollars. Because I have to buy clothes, I have to run, right? What do you spend on? So I spend on what? So this question, I said I would spend on, okay, run. So I run the building. You know run, right? Like this. So I spend on run, I spend on uh, uh, employee, okay? Employee. You know employee? Staff, right? And I spend on uh, electricity. Uh, I spend on a lot of things more, tax and other things. And how much income do you hope to make in the first year? So first year, I think I I can make around a hundred thousand dollars. Okay, income. What are your predicted for five years? So five year, I think I'm gonna earn uh, around seven hundred. To eight hundred, oh, sorry, not to eight. Two, um, okay. Uh, one more, All right? Uh, okay. To one million, not million, one thousand. Okay, one million dollars. Is it correct? Yes. So I want to to earn that much amount of money, uh, in five years. I want to open big clothes like this. Okay, this is just example. And um, the line, I think you can do this. I want you to summarize what I am uh, presenting for you at the moment. Okay, so example, the name of the company, Cam Fashions, and uh, the business models. Uh, the company is selling clothes for male and female and perfumes, and the location is uh, in front of Snap My Kids. Okay, you can do that or not? Please. I will try. Okay. Um, the name of the company is Cam Fashions, and um, uh, this company is selling a clothes with is a uh, both man and both male and female, and um the the location is in front of the Monat Market, and um. Uh, the potential customer is a, a, a university student and people around the age of 17 to 50, uh, 35. And the and we uh, and they have to spend around four hundred thousand dollar to make uh, to to own this business. Um, to own this and 
The money will spend on. The money will spend on the staff. Uh, run. Run. Run the building, employee, or uh, electricity, and something else. And they hope that uh the first year they will be uh they will be they will earn around one hundred thousand dollar. I that's all. Sir. In five years, and in the next five years, uh, the profit and, can be between. Uh, and the. And in the next five years, the profit will be between one hundred thousand dollar to uh, to what? A million dollars. Yes, a million dollars. Wow, too much, a lot, right? Okay. Uh, thank you very much, Nalain. Uh, for this, I, I'm gonna, re I mean, uh, up download and then share the link uh, of this video to you, so you can watch this again because I'm going to set this one as homework, you know. And again, I will just do the summary like uh, Nalain did. So the co my company, you can start like this. Uh, my, You can say I set up a company or you can make any sentence you want, all right? Uh, but I, you just follow my style. My company is Camp Fashions. It sells clothes for male and females. And it also has a lot of famous perfumes the locations or you can say my companies or my store is in front of snap markets my potential customer are university students but most of my general customer can be aged in between 17 and 35 and the money that i need to start up my business is four hundred thousand dollars and I will spend this money on the run, employees, electricity, decorations, maintenance, etc. And I hope that I can earn a hundred and thousand dollars for the first year, and seven thousand or in between seven hundred thousand dollars and a millions in the next five years. Okay, very short. You can can you do that, everyone? And I want you to make. And you know, like a name of the companies and just follow what I am uh, giving you here as an example. So this one I'm going to set as a, a homework and I'm going to send it. I'm going to assign it uh, today in the afternoon, maybe, but not now. And you can get uh, the not notification on Microsoft Teams. And I also uh, notify you on uh, Telegram as well. So please don't worry. And you can take my one here as an example. And if you have questions, you can go to the video and watch. And if you have questions while you are watching, please just uh, comment on, on, on the video over there. OK, this point I don't understand. Please inform me so I may explain to you over there as well. OK, everyone, can you follow? Uh, if, yes. If I don't want to write about company, but I want to write about the store or the shop, Okay, here this one. This one is is uh, I, I said company, but it is a store, right? A closed store, okay? Closed shop or whatever you want. It's up to you. Whatever business you want to make, you can put it there. But you have to give the name of it, right? Yes, teacher. All right. Okay. Any more questions? Hello. No, teacher. No. Have I understood? I don't know. Uh, other students, they do not like to ask. I don't know why. <laughs> okay, so even they don't know sometimes. Right, they don't know what to do even. But that's okay, you don't ask then. Okay, this one was our exercise from last week, remember? Uh, we did it as a quiz. Now let's correct them together, all right? Okay, an excellent employee is able to be trusted, responsible, okay? He is always on time. So on time, come to work on time, punctual. You are responsible, you are punctual. Just like you as a student, you know, you students, you are working now, but you are working as a students. 
you must be responsible and you must be punctual on time and is clearly interested in his her own work interested motivational or motivated here you can put motivated but i i make mistake here i don't want to correct it because you can learn from two of them motivated or motivational and um, sometimes you don't like studying but you have no choice if you want to have a good life later on okay if you want to become independent you want to stand on your own feet you have to study because study can help you too you can get a job you can open a business by yourself and uh, you have your own money you don't need to ask other people money so your choice in your hands so you have to love it and his idea are new what is it new here everyone homework from last week a quiz from last week so new here what is it hello oh forget already everyone Was it your homework last week or quiz last week, right? Is it? Hello? That's all. Is it your homework last week or quiz last week? Quiz. Quiz. But it seems like you don't know anything, right? I asked you Teacher, to... Yeah, and know what to. And know where to. Yeah, and know where to. And know where to, yeah. All right. Oh, my student never opened the book, never study, right? I don't know. <laughs> and he is sure about his own ability. Sure about his own ability. What is it? Confident. Confident. Yeah. Confidence. When putting them forward. He is also good at dealing with people in difficult situation. What is it? Diplomatic. Diplomatic. And is a ball to change to shoot new situations. Change. Flexible. Flexible. Perhaps he need to be a lot more lo logical and scientific. Hmm? Teacher, I don't know. We call my answer is motivational about about his approach. But uh, these reports are very detailed. So this one sort of, and the last one is enthusiastic. All right. I think enthusiastic wrong spelling here. Forget one s. So I'm reading for you again. This is important. This is an excellent employee. Right. If you want. I, I got too wrong already. <laughs> okay, that's okay, no problem. If you make mistake uh, for your quiz, later on you meet this one again. Make sure you don't make the same mistake. You know, uh, that is called a learner. That's okay to make mistake. I don't mind. You're still the best for me. Uh, if you still make the same mistake over and over again, that would be trash you know i mean that would be bad and then you are not a learner don't make the same mistake so an excellent employees if you want to become an excellent employee you should follow this one this is the idea for you the reason i give you this quiz because i want you all to become an excellent students an excellent employees an excellent daughters an excellent son you choose by yourself you have your own choice right now, if you make yourself too busy all the times without doing like now time to study, time to work, time to do homework, time to do housework, or we busy, make them up together, you cannot be an excellent person. You know, you have to do something. All right, so I'm reading for you here an excellent employee who is able to be trusted or responsible. Okay, actually, the word who is able to be trusted. And responsible here, the same. You can delete one. Is responsible or is able to be trusted, right? He is always on time. Or you can say who, who, he is punctual. And is clearly interested in his work and work hard, motivational. His ideas are new, innovative, and is sure about his own ability, confidence, when putting them forward. He is also good at dealing with people in difficult situations, diplomatic, and is able to change to suit new situations, flexible. Perhaps he need to be a little more logical and scientific, analytical about his approach, but his reports are very detailed, sort of. His best quality is that 
he is excited and interested enthusiastic about everything right in his study or in his work okay so for this i would like to ask uh i think i would ask Wolea, Wolea, can you read just read again and then we continue to the next <coughs> an excellent employee who is about to be trust uh, trusted res responsible he is always on time punctual and is clearly interested in his work and works hard motivated his idea are new in innovative and he is sure about his own ability confident when putting them forward he is also good at dealing with people in difficult situation dip, dip, diplomatic and is able to change to shoot new situation flexible perhaps he needs to be a little more logical and identify and it Analyze what? Huh? Yeah, uh, analytical. An analytical about his approach, but his re report every detail through. Soro. 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 His best quality is that he is excited and interested, isn't to take about everything. Yeah, enthusiastic. And this one we not pronounce so row. So rough. Rough at the end. Okay, I read for you. Analytical, confident, diplomatic, enthusiastic, flexible, innovative, motivated, punctual, responsible, so rough. Isa, can you read the word again, please? Yes, teacher. Analytical, confident, diplomatic, enthusiastic, flexible, innovative, motivated, punctual, punctual, responsible, sort of. Okay, thank you very much. All right, so now we are going to the next one. Do you have any question from this? So motivation is mean a, a good advice. No, motivation, no, not good advice. Motivation means something that push you to do something. Push you to do something. And I would just say, translate in Khmer for you. Uh, motivation, not motivation, right? Motivation. Uh... Yeah, you can, you can translate like, like this as well. But you know, motivation here can be from you, inside you yourself, and sometimes from your parents or from your friends or from your girlfriend and boyfriends. Example, um, if you have a boyfriend, Isa, and your boyfriend is a, is a strong motivation for you, he said that, oh, honey, please try your best to study. If you try your best to study, you're going to get good job, you get good salary, I have good salary, then we can get married and have a good life. Your parents say something like that to you, you don't care. Your teacher say something like that, you don't care. But when your boyfriend says something like that, you care so much, you really want to study. You put I you know, your heart in, in study and you try your best to be the first, the best student and get the best job ever. All right, that is motivation. Uh, you can use this one or you can say this one, right? Push you, push you, encourage you to study more and more. Okay, I'm just making a, a funny example, all right? Please don't mind. Is it okay enough? Uh, uh, Turn around, right? T-H-O-R-U. This yes, one? Yes, sort of. Sort of. Sort of. So it's yeah. mean uh, seriously? Uh, uh, not, you can say like, uh, not really like that, but you can say like this, uh, okay. Cha, so, I put, he, he work hard and so <laughs> Work hard and not so roll, okay, so roll, 
Sarau, maybe you can't show with this. Why is people are gonna come show? Sarau here mean uh, like this, you know. But this one sort of. Be careful when you use the word. You want a person who is uh, work hard and sort of, right? Yes. Okay, sleeper. So and somebody in the class here maybe work very hard and sort of. You can apply. <laughs> okay, now let's make one. Okay. This, yeah, you can you can say that as well. All right, you can say like that as well. No problem. Uh, there are a lot of meaning in Khmer. Learn more. All right, I cannot translate all the things for you. Okay, uh, let's go. Let's go to the next one. Uh, work skills, team meetings, work in pair and discuss this question. Do we have the answer? Oh, I have the answer. Very good. I always have the answer for you, you know. <laughs> Number one, do you ever go to team meeting? Who is at the meeting? What do you talk about? Where do you usually have the meetings? How long do they usually last? All right, very, it's a, a very good question as well. <laughs> Number two, what make a team meeting successful or unsuccessful? Think example. Okay, uh, so Pia, can you repeat the question again? Pong Pia. Pia, okay, I don't know, students. Okay, so you read the question again, please. One, do you ever go to the team meeting? Who is at the meeting? What do you talk about? Where do you usually have the meeting? How long do they usually last? Two, what make a team meeting successful or unsuccessful? Think of example. Okay, can you answer this question by yourself or you want to look at my example first, everyone? Look at your example first. Okay, so number one. Okay, okay. okay. all right. All right. Okay, here, do you go? Do you ever go to the team meeting? Yes, I do. I go to the team meeting very often. All right, very often. Uh, on weekend, my friend and I, so who in the meeting, and I drink coffee and discuss a lot about creativities in teaching at Amazon Cafe. Right? We often, so they ask you what and who, I told you even where, what do you talk about? Talk about what creativity in teaching, right? And where here at my Amazon Cafe? And how long do they usually last? I mean, how long do, do you spend together? We often spend around an hour talking and sharing, arguing with each other. Okay, so you see, uh, this is the answer to all the question in number one. Is it okay? All right. Okay, how about number two? What make a team... Meeting successful or unsuccessful? Think of examples. Okay, and uh, very long here, right? Number two, I think my friends and I always enjoy our times together. Now, if you don't enjoy together, it is unsuccessful, right? Enjoy our time together. I guess we share common visits. Uh, share common visits. I mean, I will translate for you. Uh, we translate in Polish, or you can say, uh, uh, okay, or like this. Okay, the same, the same thing. We share the same thing. Common wishes mean we share the same wishes. All right. Looking for practical and creative ideas to improve our career, our job, and we are honest to each other. We don't take advantages over each other. We treat each other fairly. Okay, we treat each other fairly, and we both love the team meeting. All right, I think this is, yeah, this is my original answer, and uh, I think we can ask some student to read out. Uh, I will ask. Uh, one day, I want you to read the questions and uh, Sri Pau, I want you to read the answer. So one day, read one question and then Sri Pau, read the answer. Finish question number two. Okay, please. Uh, 
uh, one do you ever go to team meeting uh, who is at the meeting what do you talk about where where do you usually have the meeting how long do they usually last to what make a team meeting successful or successful or or unsuccessful same for example um one yes i do i go to the team meeting very often big time my friend and i drink coffee and discuss a lot of a lot uh, activities in teaching at Amazon Club. We often, we often spun around on our talking, share, sharing and sharing with each other. Number two, I think my friend and I always enjoy our time together. I guess we see a common base, looking for the practical and a creative idea to improve our career. And we are honest and each other. We don't take advantage over each other with we, we drag we water yeah we treat we treat we, we treat each other freely we both love the team meeting okay i think uh one day you already read uh, question number two right or not yet at least i should read all <laughs> oh i asked you to read one by one okay so all right so that's okay then <laughs> All right, you finish off. <laughs> okay, now, <clears throat> actually, here are the tips, but I want you to watch one uh, video clips. I will send it to your Telegram. So I will watch, I will uh, allow you to spend time to watch the video by yourself in uh, five minutes. The video is very, um, I think, very short, not so long. And uh, you can, then I will ask you the question uh, How can we have? This one called manage, manage uh, meetings. All right. So we send it to your Telegram. You can watch it by yourself there. So wait a moment. Uh, which one? Okay, this one. Okay, so okay, you can watch by yourself on Telegram, or you can leave Microsoft Team right now. I think you can have five minutes to watch because this. This video is how many minutes? Here? Oh, four minutes. So I think you can have one minute for it. You can leave Microsoft team and watch the video. And after that, I will ask you a question. All right, everyone. Can you hear me? Chair, after watch the video, uh, we will come back to the team or, or not? You can come back to the team. I just want to ask you one or two questions. Don't worry. Yes, teacher. OK, OK. Thank you. Please do it. And Lee Mai, Siuji, Borat, Sophia, Srepal, Sumna, you can go and watch the video clip on uh, on your Telegram. I send it to you, please. All right? So maybe I don't need to leave because I'm joined okay. with my computer and I listen with my phone. Okay, very good. How about Srena, Meta, Savani, Chan E, and Sing Lee, please? You have to watch the video clip, otherwise you don't have idea what is it.
Mana bang? Hello. password kita ada. Reset password reset mana? Password ini. Password ID buat apa macam itu tim lah? Baiklah. Nah, ya. Kalau ngaji mahu yang reset lagi? Kalau mahu, kalau jadi semua tu kahaya. Bosan tu lagi. Bosan. Jauh aku boleh dengan try confirm boleh buat semua yang tu. Kesalannya macam mana? Eh, kampung. Ini yang kita ada telegram atau apa? Yang lain list ada yang kita ada juga. Ya, yang itu. Okay, everyone. Now time is up. Are you all back here or still watching the video? And uh, slip out? Oh, slip out now still watching, I think. <laughs> okay, uh, the video has subtitle. You have to click on CC, okay? Hello, do you know that, everyone? Not <laughs> Have you have you clicked on CC in order to see the subtitle? Uh, how about the line? I don't know. Some of you may not. Sometimes you say, "Oh, teacher, very fast." But uh, if you watch with the subtitle, you have subtitle and you can watch. For example, if you click like this, uh, if you if you watch the video, we have CC here, right? Managing meetings. Meetings are essential for team working and getting things done. But done badly, they can feel like a waste of time and energy. We have been in badly managed meeting. Meetings that seem to go round in circle without any decisions being made. Meetings that are dominated by the same few. All right. So uh, actually, I, I thought that uh, we have plenty of times. But right now, after you watch that, and now the time is up. It's still at 10.53 now. <laughs> so um, I'm going to set some example for you. Hello? <laughs> but OK, uh, so we have, uh, I, as I told you, I'm going to prepare one homework for you from this page. 
Okay, one is from this page. And the second, I'm going to prepare some more questions, some more questions for you. So you have to watch the video and answer those questions. Okay, everyone. And I'm going to give you more instruction on the uh, telegram as well. So please don't worry. Okay, can you follow me, everyone? Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you very much. I think now time is up and it is so noisy here. So I cannot. I think uh, we cannot continue and go on. So I'm gonna give you a one one homework, and uh, the homework will be uh, like I told you uh, from here as well. One, and the second one will be from here, and with the video, and you can watch the video. And if you watch the video, and uh, if you don't understand, sometimes if you just watch. And you don't understand a thing about that uh, because you don't uh, have a look at the subtitle. As I told you here, if you click on CC here, you can see CC, CC here or on your mic microphone, uh, sorry, mobile phone is BB at the top. And you click on that one, you can see whatever uh, I said on the video, you can check it out. Voices, yeah. meetings where people talk and talk with no purpose, yeah. meetings that seem to go on forever. The Europeans away found that a typical staff member spent 187 hours a year. In okay, there will be some question about that. And you can see whatever on the screen. I want you to practice listening and reading at the same time and answer the question. And this video is public. You can watch over and over again. All right. And also practice reading uh, like you uh, can follow or imitate the, the way they speak in, in the video. Okay, so uh, with this, I would like to say thank you very much. And uh, homework going to be set maybe uh, in this evening or tonight. I'm going to let you know on your telegram. Please don't worry. Okay, bye bye and good luck. Thank you, teacher. Bye bye. I'll be sending you a piece of news. I'm going to prepare a, 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 what we call a, a piece of a test. Uh, a quiz and I'm going to upload it on uh, Microsoft Teams and I'm going to notify you. OK, don't worry. You're going to go and click and see uh, exercise one, exercise two, the question and uh, everything there. Please don't worry. All right. Yeah, it's her. OK, it's thank her. you. So we need to answer the question from the video, from this video. Uh, some from some uh, some question you have to watch the video and, and, and answer. All right. But you, you're not there to send the question. Question not yet. And quick, I said that is this is evening. <laughs> yeah, All right. You can watch now if you want. You can improve your English skill. Your you have a lot of idea about meeting and everything. But the question, the quiz test. I mean, the pa the paper will be this evening or this afternoon. Not so sure yet. Get it? Yeah, the chair. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Okay, now bye bye and good luck. See you again next week with your smiling face. Thank you. Goodbye, teacher. Good luck.